WNBA superstar Brittany Griner is the latest high-profile American detained in Russia. She was arrested at a Moscow airport last month after authorities claimed they found cannabis oil during a search of her luggage. Russian state media released this photo taken at a police station showing her holding a sign with her name on it. Her current whereabouts are unclear. Let's discuss this all with sports journalist Tamron Sproul, who created a Change.org campaign to try and secure Griner's Release, thank you so much for joining us, Tamron. More than 36,000 people have now signed on to your petition, making it one of the fastest growing in the past 24 hours. What actions are you calling for the Biden administration to take? At this point, with so much going on, and as you said, the Ukrainian people being slaughtered, other uh, Americans being held hostage, and all of the current uh, things happening with the invasion, uh, making it that much harder to get them out. So I just don't want Brittany Griner and the other uh, people being held in Russian prisons to be lost in the narrative. I don't want uh, time to just pass and for them to kind of fall through the cracks with all the um, ramifications of what's happening due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. There are a lot of viewers who might not be familiar with her status in women's basketball. Can you give us an idea of just how important Brittany is to the sport? Um, Brittany Griner is an icon. I would consider her um, definitely on the court. She's a champion. She's a gold medalist. Um, she's won championships for the team she played for in Russia, uh, E-Cat, uh, Ekaterinburg. And off the court, though, she came out as a gay woman before even signing her contract with the Phoenix Mercury, where she's played her entire career. And that made a statement. She, you know, wanted to live authentically. She didn't want to have to hide who she is. And that has been the real game changer in our society. Um, just by being visible, allowing herself to say, this is me, and to give other people permission who are closeted and perhaps afraid to come out, um, you know, just a little bit of inspiration to live their truth. And of course, we know that Russia uh, has very hard line policies against LGBTQ people. And we also see in the US, uh, such as what happens in Florida with what people are calling the don't say gay bill. Um, these groups that are have been marginalized and traditionally oppressed um, make it that much more mm -hmm. concerning that she's there. And we, we don't want her to get lost in the narrative because of that. The WNBA says that all other players are out of Russia, but you write that there's largely been silence from the league and just one statement from her team, the Phoenix Mercury. What more do you want the WNBA and her team to do? I believe transparency would go a long way to alleviating some of the nerves and anxiety. Who knows what, why they are being silent? You know, maybe they've been instructed to be, we don't know that, um, but not having a narrative, not communicating what's going on, leaves a lot of worry and leaves us to some fans, if you just go online, are just afraid that she's going to just be lost. Um, I've seen people write, oh, the season's supposed to start in May. What, we're just going to carry on without Brittany Griner on the court as if that's okay. Um, and so it would be great if they communicated what exactly they're doing. And also other questions, why was she there after the call for Americans to leave. You know, what role did her Russian team play in not getting her out of there sooner, as well as other uh, U.S. players um, who were kind of late to return to the U.S. Uh, John Quill Jones of the Connecticut Sun uh, posted on uh, social media, you know, that it was just a trying time to get out of there and that she was in tears. Um, so we don't know what happened, but all of this boils down to these women have been playing overseas for years since the league began because they don't earn enough, uh, nothing comparable to what NBA players earn. And that's why they were there. And that's the issue that also needs to be addressed, the root cause. Tamron Sproul, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it.